Hi. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Aliens, but there's a scene in it where uh, the Marines, after going to the planet, they, they go down uh, into what they feel is the nest of the aliens to shoot them up with their bullet. Their machine. They got these really fantastic machine guns and rocket launchers and all that stuff, you know, and and, uh, and they go down there to kill them, but then they find out that they are under a giant uh, fusion reactor that helps power the whole city. And they discover that if they if a bullet goes, it could you know send the whole thing up and just incinerate everything. And when they discover that, they have to use flamethrowers. And of course, when they put on their flamethrowers, then the aliens are coming down. And they just it just wipes them out, and they all they're almost ready all get wiped out except Ripley or Sigourney Weaver playing Ripley. Takes matters in own hand and saves the day by saving a few of them. The rest get killed. And I hate to say this, but from what I see developing in Israel right now. I think Israel is finding itself in an aliens situation because they are afraid to look evil by carpet bombing uh, Gaza. And instead they want to resort to pinpricks, little things that might, you know, hit terrorists and stuff without hurting people. I saw, when I, I, I saw them, there was a, the, the terrorists got into an ambulance. And Israel couldn't hit it because it's an ambulance. You know, they they want to reduce civil, civilian casualties as much as possible. And when I saw that, and when I I knew that once they were going to go, once they went into Gaza, I thought, man, this is aliens with the Marines all over again, except in, in reality. And uh, I don't see any hope. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see how Israel can win this one. You know. I feel they're going to be just like the Marines in the movie Aliens because I don't see Netanyahu sh uh, becoming like Abu Tire. I don't know if you know who Abu Tire is, but he uh, he was a Karmatian who who sent troops into Mecca. They uh, uh, slaughtered twenty thousand Sunni troops, Sunni Muslims. And uh, dumps uh, and, and threw some of their bodies down to the well of Zamzam. Then they destroyed the Kaaba, and he uh, he went up on top of the Kaaba and uh, was you know mocking all the saying, telling mock, uh, where are your birds, your birds with uh, stones of clay, you know, to protect the Kaaba. And then he uh, stole the black stone and peed on it. He broke it into pieces. I don't, well, I don't know if he broke it into pieces, but someone broke it into pieces and uh, held it hostage in what is now Bahrain for about, uh, I'd say, 20 to 40 years. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm making a video. No, that's okay. But anyway, what happened was, I don't see that happen again, where missiles with cruise, where cruise missiles carrying pig poo are hitting the Kaaba. And I don't see Mecca getting nuked. So it really seems like there's an aliens situation building in Israel with between with between Israel and Gaza. It's, it's going to be like that scene with the Marines. I hate to say that.